Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Sichamba Jacob and I'm pretty sure that you guys are doing good. All right, so I've got a question with me here. We need to prove the inequality over here. So how do we get to prove this inequality? And what is the name of the inequality that we're able to see? This is a triangle inequality. And in order for us to prove the inequality that we have over here, we need to understand these two properties. Okay, so let's start with the first property. The first property says that uh, when you've got uh, the absolute value of x, then squared, this will definitely give us uh, x power 2. So my understanding here is that uh, what is inside the brackets here and the bars here, it's uh, equal to this. You see? So the bars and what is inside, they are just asking you to find the distance. Okay? And for you to find the distance, you square, uh, you square what is inside and then you find their square root. Now, they've given us the power 2 up here which simply means this root and the power will cancel, we shall remain with x power 2. This is the first property, which we need to know. Uh, the second property, which is right here, so let me do this. This property, they are saying absolute value of x is less or equal to x. Absolute value of uh, x is uh, less or equal to x. Uh, the reason why we're using this inequality is that uh, when you've got any number, or let me say any number that they ask you to substitute here, if they say substitute 2 here, you're going to have 2, the absolute value of 2, even this side it will be a 2, of which this will just give us a 2 less or equal to a 2. You see how it looks? Now look at something that is different. This is how absolute values work. When you've got a negative number, so let's say you've got a negative 2. And this side, you put a negative 2. Look at what will happen. What is inside here, provided that you are dealing with these bars, absolute value, you get a positive. Okay? This side, it will be like that. You get a positive. So whatever is inside here, inside the absolute, will be a positive. Or it will come out as a positive answer. That's why we're saying it's greater or equal to whatever will be this side, okay? So now let's try to apply these two properties on our proof right here. Out of this in uh, inequality, I'm going to get the right, or I'll prove the right-hand side. So I'll say absolute value of A plus absolute value of uh, B must give me what I have this side. So here I'm going to introduce a power 2, okay? So when I introduce a power 2, this of course will be this stuff multiplied by itself. So I'm going to get uh, this power 2 plus 2 absolute of A absolute of B plus B absolute of A. Uh, I mean absolute of B power 2. This is what I'm going to get. Okay, so I can even say equal to from here, it will be this. Okay. So to those people wondering what I've done, I've just gotten what is here multiplied by itself and it has given me what we have here. So from here, I can say is less or equal to, okay? Um, I'm going to introduce now this property. Can you see this property? So where there is A, absolute of A power 2, I'll put in this property. So this will just be a power 2 plus here I'm going to introduce this property. So it will be 2a b plus b power 2. I guess you can see what is coming out. Okay. I guess somebody can see what is coming out. So here I can say equal to all this thing. I can write it as a plus b power 2. Because when I multiply this by itself, I'm going to get what is right here. Okay? So from here, using this property, this can be written as A plus C, B power 2. You see? A plus B power 2. Okay? So this will simply be less or equal to, using this sign, less or equal to, if you're able to see nicely, this looks like what we have here. 
So we shall say less or equal to what is uh, right here, what we started with. A, absolute of B there, and then I put a power 2. I guess you are following. So what is here is what I've found this side. But the only problem is that there is a power 2 here. Now there is also power 2. I've gotten what I started with, put it here. The next thing here is just to square root both sides. When I square root both sides, I'm going to remain with A plus B less or equal to A plus, uh, I mean absolute of A plus B, like this. And this is what we need right here. You can see this and this are the same. So this is how you can prove triangle inequality.